What's up, Radar Cars fam? So I was just on my way to bed and I checked my phone one last time and I got the news and apparently this was released like nine hours ago and I got it late. But I heard that the Camaro is gonna be discontinued in 2023. At this point, it's a rumor, but it's a rumor that was supposedly leaked from inside General Motors. So what do you guys think of that? For me, you guys know that I'm a Mustang guy, but I'm a car guy in general. So I never know what I'm gonna be driving from, from one day to the next. So any car news to me is important. And this kind of this kind of hurts me a little bit here. Now, I, I'm, I'm not in the market for a Camaro. I don't see myself driving a Camaro anytime soon. I do think the ZL1 is very hot, um, but I'm a Mustang guy. I drive a GT350, a 2018 Mustang GT before this, and hopefully a GT500 sometime soon. So, but again, this, this news hurts me that the Camaro may be discontinued in 2023. It's not the first time it happened. Um, they've gone into hibernation before. It's probably not the last time it's gonna happen. Maybe they're gonna go away and be shelved for a little while and then come back. Um, the company did say that they are looking, that they're not gonna comment on it, and that they are looking to do a refresh of the front fascia, which a lot of people think um, fell from the ugly tree and had a branch on the way down. Um, they, they said that they're gonna be releasing that soon, I think in, in the fall. So it's gonna be interesting to see what that looks like. Um, I mean, 2023 is a long time. It'll be interesting to see what they have up their sleeves, I mean, anything could happen before that. You got the new mid-engine Corvette that's coming out soon, um, so that's gonna be big. But yeah, Camaro uh, getting discontinued, not a, not a good uh, thing to hear. The main reason that I don't like it, um, again, I'm a car guy, I like all cars, uh, but secondly, I also like the, I like the impetus that competition instills in competitors, such as Ford, for example, to make awesome products. And yes, there are multiple competitors of Ford out there, uh, but none quite like Camaro. It's kind of like the Red Sox versus the Yankees with Camaro versus Ford. And each one of them inspires each other to go above and beyond with, with research and development and making more and more awesome cars. So if you're taking, call it a duopoly, right? Two guys who are controlling the space of the you know, American muscle cars. And if you take one of those away, it becomes kind of a monopoly. And when you have a monopoly, sometimes companies get a little bit lazy in their research and development and what they release. Now, there are, of course, other cars out there, Dodges and, and you know, the Mopar community and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it would, it would suck to see Camaro just, you know, fall off the map like this. So obviously this was caused by low sales. Um, not a lot of people liked the, the cosmetic aspect of it. I agree. I think it needs a facelift. I think it needs a butt lift. Um, but the performance is certainly there. Camaro, Camaro's performance is top notch. So again, sad to see this happening. I'm sorry, Mike J. Autos and stuff, brother, um, but at least you got the Corvette. Um, and again, 2023 is a long time away. Maybe this will uh, spark some people to buy more Camaros. Maybe the new redesign of the SS coming out is gonna be awesome and, skip and sales will skyrocket. Uh, remains to be seen. All right, guys, let's get a dialogue going. Always appreciate the dialogue with you guys. Until next time, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary.